finish your lunch quickly or I'm going to call the police. If you don't finish all your homework on time, I'm going to put you in boarding school. Threats, threats, threats. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Pallavi Rao Chaturvedi. I'm an early learning expert and a parenting coach. So today I thought we'll touch upon a topic that forms a lot of our conversations with our children during the formative years. And this is about threatening our children to get work done. Hasn't this happened to all of us? We're all bound to have done that at one point or the other. What are the long-term effects that uh, threats have on our children? And is that really the only way to get work done? Let's explore that. And I'm also going to give you five solutions uh, which will help you in your daily lives to get work done out of children without threatening them. So let's look at a few. So my dear parents, there are three critical downfalls of threatening our children, right? So the first negative impact is that threats work only till the child is in your control. Once the child becomes independent, it's going to fall on deaf ears. The second most important point, uh, threats scar the long-term parent-child relationship in more ways than you can imagine. And the third point, let's face it, you know, after a point, they're going to lose value. If you're going to threaten for everything, there's no value left. So here are my top five picks on how to get work done by your children without threatening them. Number one, try and make the task interesting and playful. Gamify it and make it interesting for them. The second point, reward and recognition work as better positive motivators for children. Number three, appeal to the logical and rational intellect of the child. Try to explain why something has to be done. Number four, don't attempt to take away a privilege at the drop of a hat, right? It's going to lose value. And number five, use the word please and request very consciously and conspicuously. So dear parents, our objective at the end of the day is to build a long-term meaningful dialogue and a fruitful conversation with our children right into their adult years and not to control them. So this habit of removing threats from our conversation and replacing it with alternatives is going to come with a little bit of practice. But once you get the hang of it, it's going to become a way of life. So let's try this and look at the significant shift it makes in our connections with our children.